open up your brushes. We are going to go to user defined, our cartoon brushes. Uh, these are in the description, by the way. So if you have not loaded them yet or saved them, they are hanging out. Uh, th there is a video that shows you how to install them. And it takes maybe two minutes, three minutes, something like that. So it is a very, very quick process. So now we're going to come in and we are going to be adding up our, our thicknesses. So whenever we're doing our rule of thumb here, we are looking for if things are touching, so if they're coming in and or if they're floating, whenever they touch, that's when they're going to get thicker. And then if they're open or if they're not touching, that's when they are going to be basically tapered on the inside there. Good. So if I say fat, skinny, fat, it's going to have basically fat edges and then it's going to be tapered right here. And why we're not expanding or doing anything is we still might be modifying these shapes a tiny bit too. Okay, I think we're going to be able to do that. Now on our brushes, just so you're aware, notice that I've saved them twice, so they're just in different directions. So if I come in and click, it should be a pretty speedy process where we can just click on things. And my recommendation is start off all for the most part, I'm just thickening everything up. One, two, three, one, two, three. And also, if you know that they're all going to be the same, you can hold. Sl Look at how easy. Let's fatten those up. Tapered, tapered. Good. One, two, three. This one's going to be tapered. Two. Tapered line. Let's do two. That'll be a fat, skinny, fat one. Other little things I am looking for is just the edges of these little corners. These will have some sort of thickness at the, the edge there. Just kind of pay attention to them. Let's just do a taper for that guy. These will both be taper, taper. Since this ends, this will be a taper as well. Let's go two. Now other things, so let's say this guy, this is all going to get black on that side, so it's not as big of a deal. Good, let's thicken that up. That'll be a tapered line. And if you have personal preference too, a lot of my line preference is just totally me. So there's no right or wrong necessarily on this step. So you guys can have a little bit more fun. And then also you can switch these at any time. So there's it's really not permanent either. Thick to thin, looks good. So notice that that little corner I just want to drop that over. I want these both to be tapered.
some of these lines aren't going to matter as much. These are all on the edge of black. Good. And I'm cruising here. You guys kind of get the idea. Crank, 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 crank. That's fat, fat. tapered. I want that thumb to be tapered. Perfect. Just double checking here, see if we have everything. All right, let's do the tail here. So tail, let's go. Let's just see how I want to do this. Let's go object expand. So I just did the stroke. I am not going to do a fill. And now I'm just coming back in with my black. Let's do taper. Let's try the other one. Let's go fat, skinny, fat. There we go. Try three. All right, I like that. I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to fatten that one up. I'm not really going to do anything uh, fancy with the pencil. Just kind of thicken up those lines. I'm going to drop those back down to 0.25. All right, good. Let's get going on the face. And then we are ready to go. Taper. Fat skinny. Let's go taper on that. Looks good. Taper on both ends for the nose. Let's go fat other direction. We're still going to modify some of this, but I just want to double check that we have all of the lines that we're looking for. Okay, just double check at this point. Let's do the, this guy. Okay, lines have been uh, good to go. Okay, file save. Ready for the next step. So this step, just so you guys are aware, uh, one, we got all of our lines done. Two, we got all of our brushes done. So at this point, we can just double check, hey, can I 
add any thickness to anything. Other little thing I'd be looking for is are all my lines overlapping the way I want. So if there's any kind of weird little corner, anything like that, this would be a good time to do that. I'm just gonna fatten those up. So anything that you could just come in and quickly fatten up, that would be, this is a good time to do that. All right, so line work. Now keep in mind, all these are still strokes. So usually I do, I do like leaving this one. All right, let's duplicate. All right, so this one is our not expanded. Here's the new one. Everything is one how I want it. Next thing we're gonna do, object expand. Usually you have to do it magic twice. Hit okay. All right, so at this point, what just happened is all of our lines are no longer strokes. Now they are seen as shapes. So this is where we get to have some fun. Now at this point, let's do select everything. Let's just color everything dark brown. Okay, good. And I'll just show you the process and then I'll speed through this. This is the process that takes a tiny bit of time. And that's just so we don't have to spend all of our time double checking all these silly little edges. So what we're looking for is getting rid of all of our little excess lines. So what I'm doing is I'm selecting it first, black arrow, black arrow, and then I'm going shift E. And you might also see that my eraser tool is being selected. So shift E is just your eraser. I would recommend zooming and we're just getting rid of all this little excess you does not have to be perfect as long as it's not being seen really no biggie so I just want that top a little part up here so you can kind of see that I can be a little bit sloppier that looks good the major part is just seeing what's in front of the other things. That'll be the decision maker. So let's say, yep, I want that little tuft peeking out. A lot of times you can see them. There's that. Let's say shift E, get rid of this top shape. So anything that's overlapping, that is what you're looking to get rid of. So I'm gonna speed through this and then we will be pretty much ready for the next step. All right, let's do the hand here together, just so we're not confused with anything. That's all gonna stay, shift D, let's get this little overage. Now the big one is gonna be kind of that pencil here. So I want this finger, make sure all those pencil lines get over that. have the thumb I want all that gun so th thumb is in the front now notice that there's all these little stragglers as long as they're not peeking out that's really not a big deal shifty pencil is gonna be in front of that and here's our pinky Good. 
good, good. So that's kind of the palm moving into the kind of the butt of the hand. Shift E. That'll all work. Shifty. All right, looks good. So at this point, all of our lines have been basically edited. We have already done all of the eraser tool. So we are now moving into the color demonstration. So what we're gonna need for that is at this point, if you want to save this one or duplicate it, you'd be more than happy to. Next step is we're gonna select everything. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unify all of my darks. So all of my black lines are now unified. So just double check that all the lines are where you want them to be before doing that. Select everything, come up to objects. We are gonna scroll down to live paint and then make, and then we are ready to color. So at this point, I'm gonna stop this demonstration and then we are gonna move straight over into the uh, doodle monkey. And then there's the color video all ready to go for you. And then you can just come over there and then uh, I'll walk you through the coloring and then the adding the shadows. Thanks for hanging out and I will see you guys on the next video.